Oh hi, welcome to another edition of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with Sukrates. Today we're taking a look at rail cutters. Are you making model train tracks, turnouts, and you have to cut a bunch of rails? But you want to make it as easy as possible, as consistent as possible, and as high a quality as possible. Well the only way to do something consistently again and again is to use some form of jig or at least a standardization process. Now to make the rail cutters, to make the rails for a number four turnout, I came up with a simple rail cutter. It has little slots in the end where the rails go in, and you a little slot on the inside where you can see the rails all the way to the bottom. Also makes it easier to get the rail out if it gets stuck. You slide the rail in and you nip it off the length, and just like that, you've got your proper length. Now every turnout has six rails in total, two long stock rails, two diverging rails and then two frog rails as well as two small guard rails. And the turnout will let you allows you to go ahead and cut them real quickly and real easily. Today I'm doing a real quick demonstration of making a number four turnout. And for the most part I start with uh, new rails or sometimes partial rails and if the end isn't clean I'll hit it real quick with a file and that files off the end to make it so it's at least not with burrs and pointy edges. I also try to make a little bit of a bevel on the bottom so if I have to slide a joining uh, sleeve onto it, it slides on easier. Basically, measure out your rails so just try not to waste any. And in this case, I'm using a small piece of rail for the two frogs because it basically fit almost perfectly. And in the case of the number four turnout, one frog rail is actually quite a lot shorter than the other one. So if they were as close, that was good enough, and I had a piece of scrap rail that fit perfectly. I used another piece of scrap rail to make the two diverging rails, and, and then I used a whole long piece of new rail to make the stock rail, and then flipped it over and then used the other half to make the other stock rail. This way, at least, the pieces that were left over would be long enough that I would have a useful purpose for them later on. And generally speaking, you don't cut guardrails off a whole piece because pretty quickly you're going to end up with a lot of small pieces left over and they make guardrails almost perfectly. So there's really almost no need to, to ever cut a guardrail. The first time you make a turnout, you almost invariably, first thing you cut is a guardrail and it should probably be the last thing you cut after you've made the other three kinds of rails. But just like that, I went ahead and cut all the rails for a turnout and every turnout I make will be pretty much identical or close enough to it. You need them to be slightly long to make the final fit anyway. If they're perfectly perfect, it ends up being not perfect. It'll end up being too short on one side. So it has to be a little over. But if I can keep my waist pieces down smaller than the length of a guardrail, then I feel that I did a really good job as far as not wasting rails. And then you can see they slide out pretty easily. Those are the two little guardrails that I cut from some, some scrap, my two frog rails, my two diverging rails, and finally the two stock rails. And you have the hard part, or one of the hard parts of the turnout is done, and you then go ahead, the next thing you have to do is you stick them inside a cutting turnout, or a cutting uh, jig that allows you to cut the edges off. And I have one where I put on both at the same time, and then you do all your rails at once. And I came up with the little cap ends to make them easier so it puts everything in the right place and then once you've filed your ends off then you're on to the next step in making your little tiny model trade turnout i hope these made your life a little easier you can get them on thingiverse download the stls or print them out yourself and uh, like and subscribe this and if you like it on thingiverse that always helps and i will see you again next week and if you ever do make something out of my stuff i'd love to see what you guys create so if you add a link to it below or somehow so, so I can see it. I'd love to see what you guys create with uh, some of the things that I created as well. So anyway, see you again next time and I hope you uh, see you soon. The weather report. Pretty nice weather though.